everybody, this is Slim Jim Cake, and today we are going to play Plants vs. Zombies. Um, th we are continuing our playthrough of Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, last episode in our playthrough, we did, uh, 1-1 all the way until 1-10, and now we're going to play World 2, 2-1 to 2-10. I am super excited, and um, if there's any information that you're, you're you may be wondering, and if I don't say like talk about it in this video, just go watch the last video. I highly suggest it because that it'll give you your answers, and it'll also just fill you on in on what happened last time, and how I set this up and everything. And if you want to download this game, it all it is on almost every platform including Apple Watch somehow, except it's not on Nintendo, Nintendo consoles. Alright, well, uh, let's get started with Night, Night Adventure. <laughs> Evening, Slim Jim Cake. The reason there's a 2 right there is because this is my alt account, because I've actually already completed the game, and so I do know everything, except, um, I just restarted it so then I could, like, make, um, make a adventure playthrough number 1. I don't know if that makes sense or not, except... It's my second account. So, evening, Slim Jim Cake 2. Those zombies just won't let up, will they? You'll notice that fighting zombies at night is different than in the day. For one, you won't be getting any sun falling from the sky. You can also, you can still get sun from sunflowers, though. And lucky for you, you got yourself some puff shrooms. Plant as many of those as you can and you'll be A-O good. Alright. I've always found this level a little bit tough because that you don't have sunshine yet, so then the beginning economy is so bad. And usually I, I just puff shroom spam for this level because I don't have any easy way of getting sun, which would be sunshroom, except I don't have sunshroom yet, and we will get sunshroom after we complete this level. So I'm probably, I will usually just do puff shroom spam. I'll definitely do walnut as well, potato mine, pea shooter if I could ever afford it, cherry bomb, and that looks good to me. And we also cannot bust these graves yet. We have to wait until we have to, you know, we have to unlock grave buster first, except we don't have grave buster. You don't uh, unlock grave buster for a little bit. Alright, I'm just gonna lay down a whole bunch of mushroom. Oh look, it's the not rare at all death. It's not rare, except there's the normal falling death, and then sometimes they can like walk around and put their hand up in the air like a like like they don't they like they just don't care. So it's gonna be really good when we get Sunshroom. Because right now all I can really do is spam Puff Shroom. And probably once I get Pea Shooters, I probably won't be able to get many Pea Shooters. Well, I've gotten one Pea Shooter so far. Scaredy Shroom is like the night pea shooter. I use Scaredy Shroom a lot at night levels, so like like the fog levels and night levels, I use Scaredy Shroom all the time. I uh, Scaredy Shroom in the fog levels was actually very useful. And I actually failed at fog 4-4 once. I don't know 
why I shouldn't dig up my mushrooms and replace them because they're free, so I'm not losing anything. And I'm, I'm and if I replace it with a better plant, I'm instead gaining. So I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't dig up your puff rooms once you have enough sun to get a better plant there. Um, versus mode, there's a mode in Xbox and DS, um, and PS4, I think, um, where there's two player, one plays zombies and one plays plants, and they battle, and zombies are really OP in that, unless you use scary, I mean, not scary shroom, scary shroom actually is very good in that mode, except, What's even better is Fume Shroom and Doom Shroom. Fume Shroom and Doom Shroom are really OP in that mode. Well, yeah, Sun Shroom. That's gonna make the night levels much easier. That was not easy with Sunflower. I guess it was easy, except it's not as easy as if I had Sun Shroom. Hey, you've collected three, 320 in coins so far. When you read, when you collect 750, I'll sell you something real neato. Okay, that's the seven seed slot. When we get to 750, we're gonna buy a seven seed slot so we can collect. We can choose more plants. I never use really, I never really use potato mine to stack up my economy in night levels because that's the point of puff shroom. Like he is free and potato mine is 25 and has a much longer recharge. So I don't and I don't see the point of using potato mine in night levels because puff shroom is basically the economy builder at night. Except you can't use him it during the day because he falls asleep, so you'll need coffee bean, and then he's gonna cost 75 sun. So yeah, Puffroom is is economy for the night levels, and Potato Mine is economy for day levels. So yeah, no need for Potato Mine. One puff room is enough to deal with the zombie, except they get bitten a few times. So I'll do two. So then they'll they won't be get bitten. There we go, two for him as well. Oh look, it's that death yet again. When he puts his hands in the air and he just doesn't care. Sorry, that was that was an alarm thing. I don't know if you heard it, and if you didn't, that's great. Keep going with these sun shrooms, more puff shrooms. Everything is a shroom. I I don't like mushrooms in real life. If I find them in my food, I'll pick them out. I don't like mushrooms. Neither does my net and my dad, except my mom loves mushrooms. And a pea shooter. The, news the newspaper zombies are a threat if you don't have much firepower. So they're not that bad, though. Like, no matter what, they're not that bad. They're just a little fast. But in Plants vs. Zombies 1, I mean 2, they are... 
they're trouble. Like, they are so boosted. They're at crazy fast, and they instant eat plants. So, um, the, my sunshrooms are finally growing, so I'm gonna get more, um, sun collection soon. But something's, something's playing on someone's phone. I don't know if you can hear that, if you don't hear it, it's great. Stopped. Good. I'm trying to make a video. Here comes that newspaper. Even when the newspaper zombies are slowed down, they're still faster than normal zombies. I think newspaper zombies are as fast as football zombies if they're not slowed down and their newspaper is gone. Because, I don't know if you knew this, newspaper zombies cannot be slowed down if they have their newspaper on. Except when it gets ripped up, then they can. It's just because, just like the shield zombie, the screen door shield zombie, it's the same deal. Unless you're using winter melon, because winter melon goes on their head instead of, instead of a straight shooter, because winter melon is a pulting plant, it's an arma. I'm just gonna cherry bomb that bucket head. There. Come on, Walnut. It's almost done. Walnut is almost done. There we go. Now he's done. Yeah. I hope we can end it off with symmetry. I hope we can end it off with symmetry. That would be good. Because I have OCD when it comes to plants versus zombies. And I just have to finish my setup whenever I, if, if I finish a level and it do, it's not symmetrical, then I have to dig everything up and like fix it up because I have OCD and plants versus zombies. Everything, must, all my defenses must, must be symmetrical by the final wave. Well, not by the final wave, by like when I finish it. Getting him good. Okay, got that bucket head. Done. We've got Fume Shroom. Fume Shroom can be really OP at times because of its strike through. Since it can hit many zombies at a time, how many zombies it's in its range. So, I definitely want to select Fume Shroom. And we also need more coins for our 7th seed slot. Um, I'm actually recording this video, like, right after the last episode we did. Um same day oh man i should have put it right there what was i thinking i need to put that puff room right there there we go uh oh the puff room immediately started so the zombie could have already entered his range we could have lost some damage that we could have done except that's all right because we killed him anyway See, that's good because that see look he just entered his range so then we know that we didn't miss any projectiles that they could have shot before if we placed him a little before that I don't know if that makes sense except it does to me nice a walnut 
little later. I don't. Puff rooms. I'll replace a few puff rooms before I plant a walnut. Because that back walnut will definitely not reach. I mean, not that walnut. The back puff room will definitely not reach if I do so. Okay. Yeah, it's time for this. There we go. Deal with that cone head. Balloon shroom. I'm gonna stall him a bit too. Like, well, there's the walnut, except it'll do a few more hits, and it's free, so, like, why not? Just plant a puff room in front of them. Uh-oh, screen door at the bottom. We need a fume shroom. There we go. Now, we've almost got a column of fume shrooms. There we go. A column of fume shroom. Stall. Is he eating that? I don't, I can't tell. Is, oh, yeah, he was eating it or something. Alright, now we can start replacing more puff rooms with, with pea shooters. And then we can do snow peas after that. Good plan. Alright, let's get to work. Um, we also need more walnuts. I'll put a peach here there because of the cone head. He'll need it. Alright, the cone head's about to enter the future of reach. Yep, there it is. Put a peach here there because there's a zombie. Also, that, that walnut got a little cracked. A little eaten up. Ba ba! Alright. The final wave, and a whole bunch of zombies come out of the gravestones because I don't have Grave Buster yet. And I haven't even planted a snow pea yet. Oh well. I don't want to do snow peas because I won't be able to finish it, so then there'll be no symmetry. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna watch the madness. There we go. Now we've got Grave Buster. Now we can get rid of those pesky graves, not letting us plant summoning zombies all over the lawn there we go problem solved hey want to buy an extra seed slot it'll cost you 750 dollars but you'll be able to to choose seven seeds per level instead of six how does that sound that sounds good all right and hey when you reach when you save up to five thousand i'll sell you the eight seed slot upgrade check you later all right our next goal is the eight seed slot then yeah eight seed slot eight seed slot with the eight seed slot we can um yeah with it we can choose well eight plants and uh, it's eight thousand 8,000 for it. So, definitely want Grave Buster. We'll need Grave Buster. Um. That looks good to me. We probably won't be able to plant snow peas again, except at least we'll have fume shrooms. Fume shrooms is what matters. We've been recording for 23 minutes. I think this episode might be shorter than the last one just because that I have kind of less things to talk about. So I'll cut more. Because last episode, like, I didn't, I didn't have to cut, like, anything probably. I don't know that because I haven't edited it yet. 
because th- this is just the like the same day as when I recorded the last episode. But like it seemed like I was like talking the entire time. Oh my, they're summoning zombies pretty quick. Alright, we're gonna do two puff rooms there because a zombie is coming over there. So then a puff room won't get bitten. And that guy just put his hands in the air like he just doesn't care. Because I don't have much right now. I mean, I could plan a, a future, and I guess that'll work. There we go. That's good. That's the stuff. Lots of puff room. Room got him. We need to keep grave busting these graves, otherwise, at the final wave, we're gonna end up with more zombies than we hoped. I mean, I don't have hope for any zombies, but like more zombies that will be coming from the right screen because it's gonna summon a zombie for each gravestone. But in Plants vs. Zombies, I do want zombies. Please give me all the zombies in Plants vs. Zombies. Stop right there, Mr. Cone. And you're gonna do that. So then I got rid of the Pull Volter's Pull with the Puff Shroom. Because it's free, I just gotta got rid of it for free, so then he wouldn't jump over my walnut. Pole vaulters actually have more health than a zombie. Less health than a cone head, but more health than a regular zombie, a brown coat zombie. Uh yeah, I'm pretty sure he takes like five more hits. So instead of 200 health, I'm pretty sure he is like 450. 450 health. Because, um, peas actually do 20 damage, and zombies, regular zombies, take 10 hits to die with just a pea shooter, so that means regular zombies have 200 health. Did you guys think that peas did one damage and zombies had 10 health? No, that's that's not the case. And also I've cleared all the graves out now. And as you can see, the snow pea does not affect the screen door zombie. I was trying to use walnut first aid yet again, except I keep forgetting I don't have it yet. I have to buy that from Crazy Ape Shop. Yeah, so, snow peas do not affect screen door shields, except if you destroy their shield, then it will and it will affect the zombie under the shield. Which will be a brown coat zombie. Once, once they lose their shield, they are a brown coat zombie. But yeah. My defense is pretty much done, so I think I'm just gonna set up a whole bunch of puff rooms that will probably get eaten, except I really don't care. Because they're free, so like, what's the point of protecting them? I'll try to make it symmetrical anyway. Like that. There we go. 
we got rid of the pole vaulter's pole with the puff room trick or really whatever trick you can use any plant to get rid of its pole so then it can't jump over your i don't know walnuts or any plant you have in front depends on your experience looks like that push room was gonna do nothing nothing so i digged him up there okay there we go we got the almanac that's that's good we're gonna view the almanac all right I don't know why we're doing this because like uh yeah why are we here i already know everything about zombies and plants like okay get out <laughs> ever play a game called whack a zombie it's just like hunting squirbos you know those furry little rodents that dig holes in your lawn yeah just like that but instead of squirbos it's zombies and instead of a shovel it's a mallet and instead of me it's you I guess it's, it's instead of me, it's you, it's because, I guess, like, because instead of Crazy Dave playing, it's us playing, I guess. Well, in this game, we definitely need to grade plus the furthest out grades. That's like, that's basically the trick with all of them. Except for if there's like, if there's like five graves in one call in one lane, lane. Except in the other lane, there's one grave. Except it's really far out. I think I would instead bust the grave, the one of the graves that are in like the five grave lane, just because that I think that will cause more trouble than a closer zombie, like. Tons of zombies, tons of zombies will will make more trouble than a close zombie. That's what I'm trying to say. Except since there aren't many graves, we should just bust the ones that are for the furthest out. So I'm doing this bat one because see, look, it looks like a bat, like the animal, not a baseball bat. Alright, we're just playing whack-a-mole. Should I hit you? Bam! Mobile ads. Why is this game so hard? I can't reach pink color. <laughs> that's mo that's my wrap-up of mobile ads. Okay. Whoa, they're coming in fast. Cherry bomb. I think that was worth it. They're coming in fast, and I was trying to think about where should I, where I should place my grave buster. Right there as well. Why do they go so fast? I know it happens like for like in in Whack a Zombie, but like wow. Okay, that was easy. I just want to bust a few more graves because actually it'll give you coins still so might as well if you have the sun just bust those graves there we go i got twenty dollars from that well twenty cents i don't know what the currency is twenty coins two gray coins i don't know but we got hypno shroom that means there's gonna be football zombies Yep. Here they are. That's right, we can just hypnotize them. And there's only like two football zombies in this level, so it's very easy. Brave Buster and Hypno Shroom. Okay. That's, that looks like what I'm gonna do. Alright, level 2-6. Looks like we've been recording for 36 minutes. Yeah, it looks like this... 
this video is being recorded longer than last video, the last episode. It's, a, it's probably not going to turn out as long because I have to cut more because I've... I don't have as much things to say as last time. Two platforms is better than one because that there's two, like they double the attack, except they do get like further out, so they'll get eaten quicker. That just depends on how much health the zombie you're going against is. So there we go, we've got our two columns of Sundrum. Wow, Conan already, okay. No, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hypnotize them. I'm, I think, I don't think a football zombie zombie will show up for a while. So I think it's safe to use a hypnotrum right now. He's gonna take a few hits. Not much though, there we go, perfect. Now it's gonna summon a lot of cone heads, I guess, now, huh? Because there's another one right off the bat. Oh wow, here comes a football zombie. And that's actually a lot sooner than I expected, except it's alright because our, our Hypno Shroom is already refreshed and it's ready to go. So there we go. Oh wow, we're almost already done with the level. Never mind. Wow, that is this is a quick level, dude. I don't remember this it this this level being so fast. Jeez. I would like to bust that one, except the conehead would have eaten it. Hmm. I'm just gonna keep grave busting. Because there's only two gra gra le gra graves left, and these are not the final zombies. Okay, where should I put this hypno shroom? I know there's gonna be a football zombie somewhere. Here he is. Is he gonna eat anyone? Nope, looks like there's no one he's gonna be able to eat. That's all right though, at least he's gone. The good thing about Hypnotrum is because like, you can't really waste it though. Like, if you use Hypnotize, if you use a Hypnotize on a zombie that's not gonna eat anything, like any zombies in its lane, well, good. That's still alright because that you got rid of that zombie, so either the Hypno Shroom is more than an insta kill or an instant kill. So we got Scaredy Shroom. I'll be glad to use Scaredy Shroom. Scaredy Shroom is the night pea shooter, so I will not have to worry about getting a hundred sun. And we also need fume shroom, just like we've been doing because of the screen door zombies. So that looks good, and then what else? Walnut. Okay, it looks like we're doing this. Whoa, good thing I brought, um, Grave Buster. That is a lot of graves. Level 2-7. So, Adventure Mode, like, will be five episodes part two will also be at five episodes and so will part three because there's five worlds so yeah so then 15 episodes and then i don't know how long mini games and puzzle and survival will take survival will probably take the longest out of mini game puzzle and survival survival will probably take the longest I don't know why I didn't do the middle there. I don't know. I just did. See, I'm bit grave busting it there because there's three, three grave stones and some of them are closer than the one below. Except Scaredy Shroom doesn't have much firepower. 
but he is long distance, and he can take care of a cone head. So we're gonna need fuel room. There we go. Hopefully the audio is good volume. It's the same as last episode. So hopefully that episode is also good volume because they're the same. We've got our defense ready. I think I might add walnuts because that we're only halfway through this level. so I can grave bust. There we go. Grave bust. Only three graves, 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 graves left to go. Sorry. There we go. Just one left now. And it's gone. Almost. One, two, three, gone. Okay. Maybe I'll replace these puff rooms with more rooms. I think it might be a good idea. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the downside would be of that. It might just cost a lot, I guess. Except I think I have good sun storage right now. I always plant, like, when I'm upgrading, places where there's not a good offense, because then I can upgrade its defense, and then it can about balance out. Okay. And there we go. So now we just need one more walnut, and our defense will be done. On walnut. The walnut recharge is very, very, um, long. Or what it's called. It's called Dancing Zombie. Except I've always called it Disco Zombie, because he is Disco. And almost done with these zombies. Cone knocked off. Not, arm knocked off and head knocked off. Alright. Oh. He put his hand in the air like he just doesn't care. Alright. <laughs> Ice room! Temporarily immobilizes all zombies on the screen. We all know. I wish Ice room was in Plants vs. Zombies too. If you boost... Um... Iceberg Lettuce in Plants vs. Zombies 2, he basically becomes the Ice Room. He is an Ice Room when, he, when you do that. And he's free. So, that's good. Except he requires plant food to become an Ice Room. I might just go with that. Mushroom only? Mushroom only attack? Sure. Fume Shroom is also really good for... Disco zombies because then their backup dancers won't block the way of projectiles hitting the disco zombie. 
and the fume shroom will attack the disco zombie and the backup dancer at the same time. Okay, looks like the zombie's coming there. I'm gonna leave this area open for scaredy shroom, so then I don't have to remove anything. So there's gonna be two columns of sun shroom, and then there's gonna be an empty lane, and then it's gonna be puff shroom. That empty lane is gonna become scaredy shroom. Oh, I'm, I need a few more shrooms. There we go. Alright, yeah, attack that disco zombie. Get that disco zombie. Got him. And finished his final backup dancer. We need a, a, a column of fume shroom. And then maybe two columns of fume shroom. I think I'll do two columns of fume shroom yet again. And now I need to bust some graves. Um, I'm, I choose that one because it's one, one of the two for the stout ones, and there's two in that lane, so obviously that would be the best choice to do it there. But I also brought no offense to this level, so I don't think it's that bad, though. You don't need any type of nut. You don't need pumpkin, walnut, or tall nut. You don't need that. It just might be a little bit tougher without it. Oh, final wave already? Okay, never mind. I guess I'm just doing one call of the future. I'm gonna hypnotize this thing. Man, he didn't summon any hypnotized backup dancers. And I'm gonna ice shroom because they were getting kind of close down there at the bottom lane. I'm gonna get 20 extra coins by grave busting. And then I would do the last one, except I don't have enough for the last one. There's only 25 of some left. So there we go. We've gotten Doom Shroom, the final plant of night levels. And we've been recording for almost an hour. How? How is that possible? Uh, yeah. 50, 53 minutes recording. Probably gonna be shorter than that when, um, it is uploaded. To YouTube. So this time we basically have the same thing except with screen door zombie. Except that's not gonna matter because I could just literally do the same setup again. Although instead of ice room, maybe doom shroom. There we go. Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep going with I'm just gonna keep going with Doom Shroom. Uh because Fume Shroom will hit multiple zombies at a time, and will go through Screen Door Shield zombies, and Screen Door Shield zombies are very common in night levels. And holy, five graves in a lane. That is just crazy. Like, dude, seriously? Man. Alright. Um, even though that puff room by himself will get bitten a few times, I think I'm just gonna leave him by himself. Except, he can still fend off a normal zombie. Except, he'll, yeah, he'll get bitten. Oh, never mind, maybe he won't. Huh. That's weird. Why does sometimes they do? Why sometimes the zombies bite the puff room? by itself and but like other times it, the zombies won't like that see what what's the difference what happened nothing else happened i'm confused oh well 
I've been playing Plants vs. Zombies for a, a, a long time, but except I still don't know. Yeah, I guess it's not a long time, except when I first played the game, I was like five years old when I first played the game. Alright, fume shroom time. Oh yeah. Hypnotize, actually. Okay, he's a little damaged, though. Dang. He's probably not gonna do much either unless a zombie spawns in that lane. And no zombie spawn in that lane. Unlucky. Unlucky boy. Unlucky gamer. Okay. Keep grave busting. Alright, we're halfway through the level. One huge wave out of two huge waves of zombies. Alright, we need a yeah, fume from there. I think I'm gonna stall him out a little bit with the puff drum. And then another one right there. There we go, keep stalling with puff rooms. It's a good strat because puff rooms are cheap. They're zero sun. There's only two pl two plants in the game that are zero sun. Puff room and sea shroom. ever use sea shroom i i don't use cheap sea shroom right that much all right almost done grave clustering oh nice Screamer zombie spawned in the only only lane that I have two fume trees on. That's lucky. There we go. Now I can. Great busting. Done. Ooh, I'm at 2,300 coins. I just need, um... I, I just need... How much? Six. Six thousand. Six thousand coins until I can get eight seed slots. That's gonna be great. So on my other Plants vs. Zombies account, I have, like, almost maximum coins. I have ten seed slots. I have all the shop plants and I have survival endless I have a score of 30 in survival endless or it might have been 40 I th it might have been 40 I think it might have been 40 except if not then it's 30 and almost done with this level and then we get the ultimate battle level I've I just hit one hour in recording well like i hit it a minute ago i just looked yeah so this video re is recording longer except it's it's not it probably is not going to turn out as long because i'm i'm talking less hello we would like to visit for a midnight snack how does ice cream and brain sound sound <laughs> sincerely the zombies Alright, here's the ultimate battle level, which is 2 10, 20th level in the game. All we need is a scaredy shroom right there. Ice shroom, I'm definitely saving the ice shroom for later. The puff room can go. I want it right here so I can't plant on graves. That's. That's perfect. This grave is so far out, man. There we go. I've got rid of it. Got rid of two graves. There, there's the second. Oh, look. A third grave. Oh. There's Conehead in the way. I'll do that later. 
I should have. Maybe I should have put the fume shrooms a little further out. Like, maybe like one or two blocks further. Oh well, too late. I want symmetry. Everyone wants symmetry. Well, I don't know, maybe not everyone except everyone should. Because that's not how you play Plants vs. Zombies. Symmetry is how you play Plants vs. Zombies. More Grave Cluster. I mean, I, mean, I, I need something to attack, so I, I'm, I'm not complaining. Clear all these graves. More Grave Busters. This is the most Grave Busters I've ever had in 2-10. Uh, and then I should Grave Bust that because it has three and all those other ones have less than three. There's two, two, one, and then that one was three just a moment ago, except now it's two because I grave busted one. I shroom again. Try? Sure. Why not? Hypnotize the opponent. Okay. Oh, nice! He's gonna eat that screen door song. What? How do you lose an entire arm from that? Oh, does the screen door zombie deal more damage? I think he might. Or maybe he was, the cunhead was still slowed down. He probably was still slowed down, actually. Doom Shroom. I'm just, you, I didn't want to really use it, Doom Shroom, except I'm getting so many things, like so many things that I would save for an occasion. That I have to use them anyway because that they're clogging up my resources. Resource compare. I'm just gonna put a hypnotron right there. Good, I'm glad that Fairy Buster didn't get eaten by the backup dancer. Buster. We're just getting so many Grave Busters, and I like it. I'm glad that we're getting so many Grave Busters. Hypnotize him. Doom Shroom. That's good. Good stuff. Ice Shroom. Another Grave Buster? Nice, nice. I'm glad we're getting these mushrooms far out because they have short range. Now, all we need to do is... Like, all we need to do now is just fill in the gaps. I don't think we need to do much. No, we need to use. Never mind. Yeah, we need to use more because it's clogging up our stuff. Oh, good. I thought he ate it for a moment, and then I didn't see Grave Stone, so I was assured that no, he did not eat it. Hypnotize the football zombie, as you do. Okay, it's doom shroom time. For sure. That was just that was, it was getting a little messy, right? There, finally we covered that fume from the spot. There's been a missing fume from there for so long. Before we finally filled it in. Okay, yeah, it's doom shroom time.
great. That fucking zombie's eating. Oh my gosh. He's eating off screen. Literally crunching. But why are all plants and all zombies potato chips? Literally, why are all zombies and plants food colored potato chips? <laughs> it's so funny. are gonna be almost useless because they're so far up. No! No! I didn't want the backup dancer to be in it. I don't want to do footballs on it. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, why don't I, why haven't I been doing two? Alright, collect these coins. There we go. Well, we've got lily pad. That's gonna be a very good plant for this next world, and you guys all know it. I mean, like, I don't know, maybe some of you don't know, because maybe you haven't play played the game before. <laughs> Lilypad time. Alright, well, it's been good. I've finished World 2, and as you know, we're doing a world per episode, so I will not be doing the whole world. I'm probably just going to stop making videos for today um take a break you know um yeah so make sure to leave a like and subscribe and well stick around for more playthroughs of plants for zombies and eventually minecraft me and my friend are also going to play bed wars soon so make sure to watch that whenever it comes out and if you want if you are too lazy to check this channel then turn on notifications um and then just yeah see everyone